JBN, we keep you informed. I am Michelle Jones, and in the news, he went for a safer job, but was killed in six weeks. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, leave us a comment, and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items. The family of 32-year-old Jamel Westney is shocked to know that he was slain while working as a correctional officer, considering that he moved into that profession because he thought it was much safer than the job he had before. Westney previously worked as a municipal police in the Mapen era market of Clarendon, but he feared for his life and opted to quit. My son always complain that him don't like the job in a Mapen because some of the people in the market were difficult, said Merlin Bryan, mother of the deceased. Kawarna Letty, girlfriend of the same officer, said, Weston was working in Mapen, but wasn't comfortable taking out a people's stall because they was afraid I would kill him. The girlfriend added that based on information she received, the Department of Correctional Services accepted Westney after he made a third attempt to join the service. He was among 78 officers who assumed duties at the St. Catherine Adult Correctional Center in Spanish Town on Thursday, October 1, 2020. Six weeks into his new job, on November 13, an inmate allegedly used a makeshift high speck to stab him. The weapon was lodged almost in the center of Westney's back. He died at hospital. The tragic news sent shockwaves throughout several Clarendon communities, including the victim's native Turner's district in the Four Parts area of Chapleton and his girlfriend's community of Wreckford in Kellitz. His close relatives in the United States were also stunned. In Wreckford District, one-year-old Jamelia Westney appears oblivious to the tragedy that has left her fatherless. The victim's girlfriend and in-laws struggle to come to grips with the homicide. I never expect this. It is very shocking, said the crying girlfriend, who recalled the first time she met Westney in Maypen almost two years ago. Exactly on November 21, 2018, she said, He was a nice person, quiet, humble, very helpful and friendly. Those adjectives were echoed by other Wreckford residents, including the murder victim's cousin-in-law, Shanice Turner, sister-in-law, Kareen Millie Latte, and mother-in-law, Bernita Carol Latte. The mother-in-law said, Him treat me daughter good, him treat us good when him come here. In coming like one of my son, a very nice young man, me miss him. The in-laws said that whenever Weston is at Workford, he gets along well with everyone and takes care of all the children, not just his own. In the meantime, Weston's mother, who is in the United States, is heartbroken. I'm just heartbroken. I feel empty, she said. I don't rather that my son have the coronavirus and I could call him or visit him. I'd rather that. Right now I am broken to my bones. I thought my seven children would all bury me instead of me burying them. It is hard. The mother also spoke highly of her son. He was a good child. I never hear him cause a bad word. I never see him go to a dance. If I have anything for the pan road, he would then go and do it and come straight back in my yard. He go to work, come home, and nobody don't know if him the woman lets him see the light on. I'm not saying this because he's my child. I know the type of person he is. He is not a troublemaker, the mother said. Similar sentiments were shared by Keon Clark, a sister of the deceased. JBN, we keep you informed. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, leave us a comment, and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items.